dear students so today we will discuss about the last criterion which comes under decision making under risk that is expected value of perfect information or ebpr okay so what is ebpr ebpr in decision theory the expected value of perfect information of the ebpr is the price that one would be willing to pay in order to gain access to the perfect information that is to get the correct information how much amount you can pay that is what is called EVPI. It is basically used for cost effectiveness analysis. Okay, so when you are paying something, how much amount of correct information you are getting? Why we need the correct information? Because in an uncertain situation or a risky situation, this correct information will fetch you the correct solution or the best solution. Okay, that is why we say EVPI is used to measure the cost of uncertainty as the perfect information can remove the possibility of a wrong decision. Right? So in not okay. So here in EVPI, basically EVPI is used in healthcare industries. That is basically to diagnose a disease and go for the treatment. We require the correct information. Now take example of Nipah, Nipah virus. Okay, once a person gets affected by Nipah virus, it was new to all of us. Once you get the, hear the name, it was a new disease. So nobody knew how to treat it in the beginning. So they were gathering information, how this is getting affected, how it is getting spread, how it can prevent. So such informations were gathered and then the treatment was done in an effective manner. So for uh, to in whenever you're facing an uncertain situation, in order to overcome that, you require the correct information in order to reach the correct solution. That is where we use this particular criterion. Okay. Now, EVPI, there is a formula. EVPI is calculated using this one. That is, EVPI is equal to expected value with perfect information minus optimum EVM. Okay. So, we will discuss this using a problem. Now, consider this particular problem. Okay. Compute EVPI from the payoff table given below. Note that the probability of S1 is equal to 0.5, S2 is equal to 0.4 and probability of S3 is 0 0.01, right? So all the probabilities of different strategies is given. You have a payoff table here and you have to calculate the EVPI of this particular problem, right? So let's see how we will do it. Now, this so uh, the first step for calculating this problem is, the first step is calculate the EVM value. In expected monetary value criterion, we discussed how we will calculate the expected monetary value. You, you have to just consider the respective payoff and multiply it with the respective probabilities, correct? So here in this table for A1, for S1, you know the probability is given as 0 0.05. Okay, so the first payoff value is 30. So here it will be 30 into 0.5. The first one is 30 into 0.5 which is equal to 15. Then you have 20 into probability of S2 is 0.4. So you will write 20 into 0.4 which will give you 8. Then 40 into probability of S3 is 0 0.01. So 40 into 0 0.1 which will give you 4. Correct? So you have a1 the value of uh, emv value for a1 is calculated that is for s1 uh, the column corresponding to the cell corresponding to s1 the emv value is uh, 15 then that of s2 is 8 and for s3 it is 4 right then again for a2 similarly you have to do for a2 25 into probability of s1 probability of s1 is 0.5 which will give you 12.5 then 35 into 0.4 which is equal to 14 then 30 into 0.1 which is equal to 3 okay then again for a3 22 into 0.5 which is equal to 11 then 20 into 0.4 which is equal to 8 and 30 into 0.1 this is equal to 3.5 okay so you have all these values now for each and every uh, event you need to calculate the EVM uh, sorry EMB value right so for A1 you have to summit all these values that is EMB is equal to 15 plus 8 plus 4 which is equal to 27 here again for A2, it is 12.5 plus 40 plus 
3 which is equal to 29.5 then for a3 it is 11 plus 8 plus 3.5 which is equal to 22.5 so you have 27 29.5 and 22.5 now you have the emv values for a1 a2 and a3 now you need to select the highest emv value so here we can say that the highest highest emv value is for strategy strategy which one a2 right for a2 the highest value is 29 which is equal to 29.5 correct so the optimum emv value optimum e mv value is 29.5 and that is corresponding to a2 so is that clear so you have uh, the highest emv value for a2 now we will move on to the next step this is step number one we calculate the emv now the next step is step number two here you need to calculate the expected value with perfect information considering the highest profit in every row Okay, so in the question, whichever is having the highest profit, that is to be considered in order to calculate the expected value. Now, you have this question. Now, in, in this question, for each and every row, which is the highest value, you need to consider. In S1, 30, 25, 22. So, out of this, the highest value is 30. So, you will be putting the maximum payoff of each row as. So, for S1, it is 30. Now, S2, 20, 35, 20. So, the maximum value is 35. S3, 40, 30, 35. So, the maximum value is 40. So, now you have maximum payoff of each row, right? Now, for each and everything, the probability is already given in the question. For S1, the probability is 0.5. For S2, the probability is 0.4. And S3, the probability is 1. All these things are already given in the question. Now, you need to calculate the expected value. Expected value is profit into probability so here the profit that is the maximum payoff that is what is the profit so here 30 into 0.5 so here this is 30 into 0.5 will give you 15 then 35 into 0.4 35 into 0.4 is 14 then 40 mm -hmm. into 0.1 will give you 4 correct so here we have all the expected values now, we need to calculate the expected payoff with perfect information. That is step 3. How we will calculate? We need to summate all these values. So, you have to add all these values. 15 plus 14 plus 4, which will give you 33. So, here, the expected payoff with perfect information is 33. The value is 33. So, the problem is not over. The last step is there. Last, that is the fourth step is we need to calculate the EVPI that is expected value of perfect information that is calculated using the formula. Here we already discussed this formula, right? EVPI is equal to expected value with perfect information minus optimum EVN, right? So, we need to calculate that. So, EVPI is equal to here expected value with perfect information. We already got the answer as 33. 33 minus optimum EV, EMV. Here we calculated uh, calculated the optimum EMV as 29.5. So 33 minus 29.5. So finally you will get the answer as 3.5. So here this is EVPI. So this is your final answer. EVPI value is 3.5. This is also called as the uncertainty rate. It is also called uncertainty uncertainty rate okay so i hope this is clear to you already in the question you will be given a payoff table and the probabilities so the first step is to calculate it calculate the emv value you will have to just uh, multiply the respective payoff with the given probabilities and then you have to summate it for each and every strategy so whichever is having the highest value that is considered uh, as the optimum EMV. Here the highest strategy and here the highest EMV value is for A2, strategy A2 and the optimum value is 29.5. Okay. After that, the second step is to calculate the calculate the expected value. How we will calculate the ex expected value for each and every event, for each and every uh, state, 
whatever is the maximum payoff we, we need to calculate or we need to write down that is for s1 it is 30 s2 it is 35 and 40 then you have to multiply that respective payoff with the probabilities in order to get the expected value after submitting that you will get expected payoff with perfect information and then EVPI is calculated using this formula. From this value that is expected payoff with perfect information, you need to subtract the optimum EMV value and then finally you will get the EVPI. So this is also called the uncertainty rate. Hope this problem is clear to you. This is the last criterion which comes under decision making under risk. Thank you.